Hello and welcome to Dozen Houston County Library System's Crafternoon Tea. This week we're going to be doing a Baby Yoda cross stitch, as you can see. So first I'm going to start by explaining the pattern. This pattern is set with numbers on the side 5 to 45, 5 to 40 on the bottom. Uh, when we start, you're going to want to try to find your center of your uh, of your fabric. This is an example of the fabric. It is obviously not going to be as big as this here, but um, we'll explain that in just a second. So in your bag you should have this piece of Ada cloth with a needle in the corner and a hoop. So let's get you started. Take your hoop apart and place your cloth over the bottom piece. You want to make sure it's open as wide as you can get it. You can even take the screw off the top. So place it in the center as best you can. And then slip the top hoop back over. Like so. Ah. Now like so. And then tighten it up. You want that to be good and snug without breaking. Your cloth is in the center. Okay, so to get this started, let's look over this. When you're counting your cloth and getting ready to do stitches, you're counting squares. Okay, if you look closely at your cloth, it has a lot of little holes in it. This is um, 14 count Ada, which makes the squares much bigger, uh, more experienced cross stitchers will use 16 and 18 which makes tiny tiny little things they're super cute really tight stitched but this time we're using 14 because it's bigger and easier to see so make sure when you're counting you're counting squares not holes you want uh, so many squares and this just breaks down how to go over whenever you're doing your X's you want to try to go over the same direction each time. So if you start on the left side, uh, cross to the bottom, and then start and go over to the top, and do that each time. Cross to the bottom, cross to the top, cross to the bottom, cross to the top. You don't want to uh, make them crazy. Now I do make them crazy, so don't pay attention to what I'm actually doing on the screen. I, I'm not a uh, professional by any means. I just like to do this for fun. Makes cute little stuff. But um, if you do, if you are a perfectionist, that is a quick uh, little way to make it look neater. All right, so we're going to get started with threading our needle. Put this back. So you have embroidery floss, and there should be plenty on it. So do not worry about making a mistake and having to start over. We're going to cut us a length of floss like so. Okay. Now, what happens with this floss is it comes in six little strands all twisted up together. You're going to want to pull one strand out, just like that. We're going to match up the ends and find the loop. I find it easier to thread the loop. Well, see, now it's not going to work because you're watching me. Thread the loop instead of the ends because they do fray. And you're going to want to hold your string about like this. Hold it tight at the bottom so that it doesn't slip through. Okay, now if you want to count and find your exact center, you can. That's not how I do it. Like I said, I'm not a professional or a perfectionist when it comes to this. I just like to do it for fun. So I just find somewhere which is about the approximate center right there okay so to start your thread pull it all the way through to the back oh wait my bad we're gonna start from the back gotta have a loop there there's your loop make your cross one stitch through the loop and that locks your thread in place so it doesn't slip out now you can use shorter pieces of string and 
not have a loop at the end and just hold it with your finger and then what you would do is you would cross over um, the thread you would pay attention to your back as well and cross over your thread but we're not going to do that this time so I'm going to finish this one stitch okay there's one cross all right so to read the pattern we're going to count one two three that's three crosses for th for the three squares I like to cheat I'm gonna use a pencil two three and just put a dot over the end of uh, each square okay so I'm gonna continue to do that for all of what is gonna be black Okay, so there's the little cup that Yoda is holding, and my thread came out while I was showing you. You will have to re-thread your needle a couple of times. It does tend to slip out. Darn. Okay, safe. So with each cross, you come up from the back oh no I undid it yeah that's a problem you might have don't come through the same hole each time so I'll switch to there and I'll go down there's another And try not to catch the strings. I just undid it again. <laughs> try not to catch the strings because it will leave a funky little space. You want to get in the center of those square holes. Okay. So we're going to finish the little cup. And then we'll move to the eyes. As you come to the end of your string, it's going to come to the edge of your, your needle. Try not to drop it until you're ready. I'm trying to finish this cup before I lose my string. Alright, I did. So when you come to the end of your string, you're going to want to lock it in place. So make sure you still have a little bit left. It's okay if you have a lot. And you want to take and put your needle under the back side of the string just a few places so that it catches it there we go and pull it over and now you've locked your string and it won't come out the front and to change your string you just do the same thing as the beginning pull, pull it from the floss, double it up, thread your needle, and move on to your next part, the next stitch or another color or anything that you need to do. Once again, I'm going to mark where my next pieces go 
one, two, three. There's a spot. And you don't have to fill it. But I'm just going to go ahead and do that for this part. Leaving the one blank right there for the eye uh, sparkle that he has. I'm going to do each and then I'm going to fill those in. Okay, now we're going to just fill them in.